Hello, lovely people of the world. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Anong asa yun, Robin? Ahlan o sahlan. This is Justin, Sarah, and baby Sabrina. Sabrina. In this video, we'll talk about 10 things that I learned about being a new dad. Yay! And don't, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and check out our merchandise if you're interested in buying our t-shirts, pillows, mugs, what have you. Yep, yep, yep. Number one, I didn't know that I'm going to cry when I saw Sabrina for the first time. I never cry watching sad movies or anything like that so I thought that I'm not gonna cry and I told everybody I'm not gonna cry and then there I was sobbing crying his eyes out y'all yeah <laughs> when I saw Sabrina for the first time I was shocked when I looked at it and was like what <laughs> happened to you I guess I've gotten softer now that I've become a dad yay Sabrina is fuzzy because she's sleepy again you guys I don't know why we keep recording at the end of the day <laughs> Busy, busy, busy. Number two, after I did my three months of parental leave, I didn't feel like going back to work. Aww. I didn't know that's gonna happen. I thought that even though I originally scheduled for three months of parental leave, that after two, three weeks, I thought I can't handle this anymore. I'm just gonna go back to work. But I stuck around for the whole three months of parental leave that I originally scheduled. And then I still want to stay home. Aww, that's so sweet. I don't know, does that mean that I want to be a stay home dad and you're gonna go work? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. It's just that I'll miss this little munchkin too much. Number three, change in night routines to accommodate baby's needs. In most nights, uh, my wife and I, we watch TV or watch movies at night at home. Uh, until midnight, but they all changed because baby needs to have her nighttime Sleep. sponge bath oh, at yeah. around seven o'clock or and, bath. Mm -hmm. And then she sleeps in a bassinet in our in our bedroom beside our bed. <laughs> right, so that means we need to be very quiet if we are in the same room as her. Mm -hmm. So that changed everything. We are tiptoeing around our own bedroom with lights turned off <laughs> in darkness yeah we, we have like one lamp turned uh. on in the corner of the room <laughs> but pretty soon we'll be um placing sabrina in her own room in which we used to call a guest room across the room across the hall from our room because she seems to be able to sleep well and she has a very nice sleep routine so far, our sleep regimen. Um, I'll be talking more on that next time. So yeah, um, one of these days, now that she's four months old, we'll make sure to transition her into her own room and just place a baby monitor from there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number four. I didn't know I, I was gonna fall in love with my baby so fast. Aww. Every time I make eye contact with Sabrina and then she smiles ear to ear, I feel so happy. It's indescribable. It's indescribable how happy I am. Right now, she's she loves her hand. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. I didn't know how much baby has to feed. It seems like baby is feeding all the time, every two hours or every three hours, mm -hmm. and they drink so much milk and then they get hungry so fast. Mm -hmm. That surprised me. Basically, every waking hour of a baby is feeding, feeding time. time. <laughs> and number seven, I'm surprised how well I'm sleeping at night. Because if you watch movies and TVs, the parents are waking up in the middle of the night and they say, oh, it's, now it's your turn to go check on baby. <laughs> That's where most of the fights arise. <laughs> It's your turn. I got our last time. <laughs> I never had to do that. I slipped yeah. right through it. The problem is Sabrina doesn't take the bottle. Right, so there's nothing I can do in the middle of the night. I can't feed her it's okay. in the middle of the night. So then all the responsibility falls squarely on my wife's shoulders. I slip through the night soundly. I wake up 7 in the morning thinking, oh, baby didn't wake up at all through the night. And then she tells me, yes, baby woke up twice. In the night. <laughs> We're just to feed and then she goes right back to sleep. So that's why Justin doesn't get bothered or disturbed. Number eight, face merge app. Before Sabrina was born, 
We found this app that takes photo of the father and photo of the mother, and then they merge the two photos, and they <laughs> give you a hypothesis on how the baby might look like. In that app, the baby's face looked really hideous. <laughs> so we were very surprised when she came out <laughs> looking beautiful. <laughs> Love you, baby girl. <laughs> so, what did she look like? Our baby, our face merge baby. She looked like an alien. <laughs> Let's just go with that. <laughs> Number nine, work helps me maintain my sanity. Okay, ever since becoming a new dad, spending the weekends with my wife causes us to bicker, but a healthy bicker. However, when it comes to long weekends, <laughs> Justin and I are like, you're supposed to be at work today. <laughs> We're already at each other's throats by Monday. So. Because that leads us number 10. We spend too much time at home and not enough date nights outside home. Yep. Um, before becoming a dad, we thought that we could just leave Sabrina with her grandma or her aunt <laughs> and we can just go out on a date now like we used to do however we cannot do that because Sabrina does not take bottles so we can't <laughs> leave her with somebody and my wife and I go out for a date night since becoming a dad we had one date night one <laughs> to this date and what did we do on that date night we watched Avengers Endgame but how did we make it work well, we um, booked the late show of the movie, so we booked for the 9 p.m. showing. And um, I noticed that Sabrina is usually passed out by 8 o'clock every night. It seems to be her routine. So I made sure she was passed out at my sister's place, and I told my sister I'd spend the night there. Left Sabrina fast asleep <laughs> with my sister, and we came back after the movie. It was a three-hour long movie. We came back at around about midnight, a little bit after midnight. And as if, like Sabrina didn't even, like she only woke up once just to take a pacifier and she went right back to sleep, according to my sister. So my sister was pretty impressed. She was like, oh my goodness, you have such a good baby. I'm like, thank you. So Sabrina had no clue that we were even away, <laughs> which is great. So yeah, as soon as I got to my sister's place after the movie, my sister um, left me and Sabrina in our own room where I just slept beside her as if nothing happened. And then the date night turned out to be a great day for us the next day because then I got to spend it with my sister who had the day off as well. So thank you, Manong. That's 10 things I learned about being a new dad. Woohoo! Sorry guys, Sabrina's fussy again. Thank you, baby love, for being so good. I love you. Okay, I'll put you to bed now. Bath time! All right, thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> not even smiling anymore. Look how the, the bib went like full circle here.